So you're thinking about moving to Miami, Florida, but you're not sure what neighborhood to move into, but you definitely want an urban lifestyle, a neighborhood that's very walkable, and you want to be close or inside the city of Miami. Well, stay tuned because in this video, we're going to go ahead and walk all of Brickell. I'm going to give you a tour so you can see what Brickell is all about, where all the places, restaurants, bars, shops, the condos, and all that sort of thing. So if you want to learn more, stay tuned because we're jumping into it right now. Welcome back, and if this is your first time to the channel and you want to learn everything there is to know about living, eating, working, sleeping, and playing in Miami and the surrounding areas, then tap that subscribe button and hit that little bell so you can be notified every time we drop a new video. My name is Raymond Goedi Gozzati and I'm a full-time Florida realtor in your Miami area with your Living in Miami, Florida team. And we get calls, texts, and emails every day from people just like you looking to make that move to Miami. And we absolutely love it, so whether you're moving soon, 90 days from now a year from now make sure to reach out to us give us a call shoot us a text send us an email dm us on social media however you want to get a hold of us days nights and weekends we got your back we're making that smooth move to miami florida so let's go ahead and get going and uh check out brickle we're going to go ahead and walk almost all of it i'm going to show you as much as i can i was actually in brickle key which is one of the islands and they actually stopped me from filming they said i couldn't film in that island but I got some good B-roll, so I'll show you some clips. So let's go ahead and check it out. I've been to heaven. I've done my best and my worst, learned my lessons. No matter how hard... Okay, I am standing right on the northeast. So if you look at the Google Maps on Brickle, I'm standing on the northeast part of Brickle. This is the, the mouth of the Miami River, where behind me is the intercoastal and the bay. You got the cruise ships and the Port of Miami all the way over there, Miami Beach all over on the east side. So basically, this is the beginning of the Miami River where it all started. On that side, you have downtown, eh, the south part of downtown, eh, and I'm standing right on Brickle. Behind me over there, you see the bridge and the statue eh, where it disconnects Brickle and downtown. You'll see a lot of boats driving up and down this river. Very popular, very eh, cool thing to do here in Miami. So let's keep walking. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, walk all the way to Brickle City Center, which is the popular shop. And then I'll take you down to Mary Brickle Village, uh, which is more the, the center of Miami by Miami Avenue. And then we'll go ahead and uh, finish on the east side of Miami. Because if you're a family with kids and you still like the urban lifestyle, uh, Brickle's still a very good popular place to live. Uh, most of my clients who move down here and uh, wanna live in Brickle, they typically, almost all of them move to the east side, on the east of Brickell Avenue, close to the water. It's very laid back. It, basically, this is where I'm at now, but on the north side. And beautiful condos, a lot of parents with kids walking their strollers. So, and it's great for families as well. Very urban lifestyle, you can walk to everything. And then we're gonna go ahead and probably finish off on the south side of Brickell, where it all began. Older condominiums, but they're bigger, bigger lot size, bigger space inside. Uh, older, some have been renovated, but uh, they, they were built back in the days, and there's, there's definitely more space, and that's closer to Key Biscayne. So let's go ahead and keep going. I got a lot to walk. It's very walkable, but there's a lot to see. So let's go. that connects downtown and Brickle. Yeah, that goes right over the mouth of the Miami River. You got the bridge there. Over here to the left, you have the mouth of Miami River. So this is the beginning of Brickle. If I turn around, all that down Brickle Boulevard, it's Brickle. You got the financial districts on the east side. You got a lot of residential condos. Yeah, most of the families live on that side and on the west side of Brickle Avenue by Miami Ave. You're gonna go ahead and find all your restaurants, shops, bars, and um, if you want more of the happening, more single life, a lot livelier on the west side of Brickell Avenue. But all of Brickell is very walkable. As you see, 
we're gonna go ahead and walk all of it today i'm gonna show you as much as i can uh, but it's right now and by the way the temperature is great it's like 67 degrees we're at the end of october which is fantastic and typically we don't get cool weather so early as you can see there's some traffic here and it's only like one in the afternoon on a thursday uh, there's some traffic and brickle uh, but if you live here and most likely you might even work here definitely it's walkable so you may not even need a car a lot of people don't even use a car if they if they live in and work in brickle uh, you can get around with a metro mover you can walk you can take the trolley uh, even if you take the car it's short traffic so it's not really that bad all right i just walked over to the west side of brickle and i'm gonna go ahead and show you brickle city center so we're gonna be walking through all these skyscrapers all these uh, beautiful condos that have uh, amazing views and all of them have pools gym full amenities the pools are gonna be like in the seventh floor or like on top of the garage but they're gonna be up they're not gonna be on the bottom uh, so it, it's a lot of resort style living there's even one condo that has a soccer field on the rooftop which is super cool at nighttime maybe you've seen it like in movies or clips and uh, but they'll show that i know when they, when they show miami heat games i think they show like a a night view and you can see the soccer field lit up on top of the building a lot of construction as you can see here to my right um, ground level construction I don't know what they're doing here but it's probably gonna be another skyscraper a lot of buildings going up in Brickell when I don't come here for a while I don't even recognize it there's areas where it was just a parking lot and then now it's just huge buildings Brickell City Center which we're gonna go ahead and check out it's only like five years uh, new so it's it's like the, the new thing here in Brickle. Before there was Mary uh, Brickle uh, Village, which is still around, but it's more of a, a low, low rise outdoor shops and restaurants. So let's keep walking and uh, we're almost there to Brickle City Center. Here behind me, you have the entrance of one of the Metro Mover stations. We can hop on that and it'll take you a loop, Brickle downtown and it's free standing room only. Uh, I may do it, but we're really close, so we're just gonna go ahead and walk over there. But I'll show you clips of the Metro Mover, uh, how it looks inside. It's a little car, uh, just standing room, and there's many stops all over Brickle and downtown. Very convenient, uh, just in case you don't wanna walk, because Brickle is very walkable. <music> city center there are like three separate buildings and they all connect as you can see up there there's like a little walkway that connects all the buildings and it's all outdoors but there's roof and so you can walk from one building to the other that loud noise is a uh, miami avenue which is the busy street busy avenue where all the restaurants bars and shops are so let's go ahead and just walk around so you can get an idea of what this mall is all about escalator to the second floor there's actually three levels there's a movie theater here a uh, ton of great shopping and um, cafes ice cream shops and I think there's a hotel and condominiums and on the roof there's like a lounge uh, for a nightlife all right I'm walking from across the, the walkway as you see there's a street right underneath and um, there's stores everywhere connecting it <laughs> to show you as much and vlog inside the Brickell City Center but the security guard told me that I can't be filming in there so we're stepping out but don't worry I got some b-roll clips that I'll show you during the video okay I'm walking down Miami Avenue which is the Main Avenue on the west side of Brickell, where it has all the restaurants just came out of Brickell City Center. And we're going out to Mary Brickell Village, where all the restaurants, bars, and shops are. And then inside all these streets, you're gonna find a lot of little cafes, bars, a cool little restaurants, mom and pop shops. And um, let's go ahead and check it out. Yeah, 
Brickle still. A lot of restaurants that you see, shops, bars everywhere, Capital One Cafe, Moxie's, you got Blue Martini over there. What's up? <laughs> uh, so now we're outside of Brickle City Center. This is Miami Avenue, which is the main avenue goes right through Brickle, and we're in Mary Brickle Village. Um, over there, you have a lot of uh, restaurants, good ones. This is North Italia over there. You got Balin's, which is a nice little uh, restaurant here. They have great brunches. Down the hall, you got Starbucks, and down that corridor, you have uh, Shake Shack, which is very popular. And all around here, you have condo living behind Mary Brickle Village condos. <music> So as you can see, uh, this is only a Thursday afternoon, probably around two o'clock, and there's people walking everywhere, working, eating lunch, uh, working on buildings, new construction. And this right here is a cool little spot called uh, Dolores Don't Call Me Lolita in that corner right there. Second level, they have a nice bar at nighttime. You get uh, great views of the city. Uh, not that high, but it's pretty cool. You can see, you can see a lot. There used to be a great Italian restaurant here, but they tore it down. It sold it. Now they're developing something. So this is the main intersection on Brickle. We're gonna keep going so you can see more of it. Okay, here to my right, you have another great Argentinian restaurant called Bear's Grill. Japanese restaurant, pizza shop. As you can tell, they're one after another, and down these little streets, there's more little restaurants you won't find a lot of the like chain like chilies and stuff like that most of them are going to be pretty unique stores and and uh, restaurants and cafes uh, so if you live down here you could just walk down i would buy to eat there's three publixes all over the brickle so they're all very walkable uh, we just walked right under the metro rail uh, tracks to my right you have uh, some ice cream shops fredo which is really good uh, again cafe Empire Social at nighttime. This has a lot of life, so some of the places are really popping, popping uh, during the day. But at nighttime, the ones that you see close are uh, are really happening until late, so like two, three in the morning. Some, some of them five. So there's a lot of life on this side of Brickwood. A uh, very dog friendly, as you can see to my to my left side here. There's like a little dog park and any building that you live in. Most of them will go ahead and allow pets. Uh, there's little bags everywhere all over the city so you can pick up the poop. Now we're gonna go now to the west side so you can see where the family friendly uh, area is on the east side. All right, here Miami Avenue meets with Coral Way, Southwest 13th, which Coral Way goes all the way down to the west side of Miami and it ends here in Brickell. So it's a main street of Miami. Uh, and in this intersection, I'm gonna make a left and I'm gonna go east to the water so we can see the Brickle living on the east side of Brickle. Okay, right behind me, I'm walking on Coral Way, uh, going east to the east side. Behind me, you have like a little food truck cafe. Super cool, um, just randomly out here in Brickle where you can stop by get a cafecito or empanada, pastelito, or any little pastry that they may have. A lot of spontaneous things all over the city, like that little yard uh, with food trucks we, saw, we passed rather earlier. This little cafe uh, food truck. And um, now I'm approaching Brickle Avenue, right here, Brickle Avenue, which is the main one that goes all the way. It turns to US-1 and it goes into downtown. So we're gonna go ahead and see what's on the other side of Brickle on the east side. Okay, this is Brickle right here, and that is the intersection of Coral Way and Brickle. Uh, over there, you got downtown on the north side. We're gonna go ahead and go south, and we came from the west, which is over there. Right now, we're walking along Brickle Avenue going south. I'm gonna show you a couple little restaurants right here on Brickle Ave, and then we're just gonna cross Brickle and get to the, the east side where all the condos are. If you guys are enjoying this video, make sure to hit that like button. Go ahead, smash it, don't be afraid. And leave us some comments below. This helps us to better understand what you guys want to know about so we can provide the best content possible. 
In this vlog, I really wanted to show you as much of Brickle as possible. Some places kicked me out, I couldn't go in, like Brickle City Center and Brickle Key. If you like Brickle, you think it's a spot to have other videos like the map video and um, top five neighborhoods to live in, all that, so you get more information on Brickle. I just crossed Brickle Avenue and now we're gonna go ahead and walk all along this side on Brickle you're gonna find a lot of your office buildings a uh, very commercial this is like the financial district of Miami all your finance jobs banking are gonna be either in Brickle or downtown or Core Gables but a uh, Brickle I think has the most so let's go ahead and walk close to the water so you can see the beautiful views and what families love about living here in Brickell. Alright, we are on the east side of Brickell. This is the beautiful condominium right here on the bottom. They have Konos with the ice cream sandwich shop. Uh, a lot of families and kids like to go there. Um, but check out all these beautiful condos with balconies. So we're gonna walk all the way to the end by where the boardwalk borders the water so you can see all the views that those condos have. There's smaller low-rise condos and there's higher ones but the, the tall ones are gonna be on this side which is the South Bay Shore sorry and this is a Brickle Bay Drive it uh, is parallel to Brickle Avenue it goes all the way to the entrance of Brickle Key um, and you're gonna find on the left some office buildings and uh, some residentials like this one right here as you see it's gorgeous this one is called Jade and it's absolutely beautiful uh, and then it has some low-rise condos over there just a few of them and they have a lot of space if you like to be on a, on a lower level close to the boardwalk I made it all the way to the east of Brickle which is the boardwalk behind me you have all these beautiful condos with gorgeous views of the port of Miami all the cruise ships going out as you can see all the way over there is uh, Key Biscayne so the views here are amazing this is the east side so in the morning you get that sun rising up and over there is Brickle Key. On that side right there is Brickle Key, which I took a lot of video clips. They didn't let me film anymore. They told me no cameras allowed, but I got enough to show you a, a little bit of Brickle Key. me over here there's like a little cove behind me over here you got the boardwalk going all the way and it connects all the way to Brickle this is gonna be like your older uh, condominiums and um, a lot of families live on this side uh, all along the east side here this was actually very nice and modern Jade all these bordering all the way to the downtown area are gorgeous as to the north side and then this is the, like the south side southeast of Brickle uh, well, the condiments are a little older, they're not as big, but they're still as nice. Uh, a lot of them inside have seen them, then they've been remodeled uh, and they're in prime location. So, um, definitely a lot of families love Brickle, and this is the spot that they choose. Where we were, as you notice, it's quieter here. Where we were, Miami Avenue, Brickle, City Center, Mary Brickle Village, all that area is very happening, a lot of life, energy, very dynamic. People going in and out of condos, restaurants, little mom and pop cafes. So it's really cool, very urban. If you love that, then that's the spot. Out of all of Miami, that is the one that has the most life and uh, urban lifestyle and, and very walkable. Like I said, you have three Publixes very nearby. You have the Metro Mover walk, uh, going everywhere. You can walk anywhere. And you're, you're not far from all the good places like Coral Gables, Coconut Grove, Key Biscayne. Uh, the expressways connect right here and in downtown. And don't forget about downtown. We have the Miami Heat Arena, Bayfront Park, uh, the Opera House is over there. So you're right smack in the center of anything. People who live here on Brickle and on the east side, they don't really go to the west side much unless you have family and friends to visit. Yeah, but vice versa, if you live on the west, you tend to come over here um, because there's a lot of things to do, a lot of, th a lot of things happening over here. Uh, and again, during the weekend, there's a lot of festivals and events going on depending on what month it is, what event, what festival. Uh, the Port of Miami, like I said, is there, and that's the causeway that goes all the way. Actually, you got the Carnival Cruise Line, and you got the Disney Cruise right there. 
um, the um, Royal Caribbean headquarters is right here as well. That's Fish Island over there because you take the causeway, MacArthur Causeway, and it takes you right into South Beach. So you got South Beach, South of Fifth, and all of Miami Beach in super convenience. This bridge over here, to my, as I'm pointing to, that is the bridge, Key Biscayne. The prettiest views in all of Miami are gonna be from that bridge. Going in and out, you got Rusty Pelican. I could see it, but I don't know if you can spot it out, but it's a building with a lot of boats. Beautiful to go have their uh, brunch or even dinner. You can see all the brickle downtown skyline and, and light up at night, so it's, it's gorgeous. So let's go ahead and continue our vlog. I'm hope you're enjoying it and um, getting the most out of it because I want you to feel, stay here, and um, see what Brickle is all about as much as possible. So if it's a spot, then that way you, uh, you can eliminate the rest and you find out that Brickle is one of the options. So when you call us, reach out to us, the most important part of um, picking out your house is choosing your neighborhood. And the best way to do that is to determine your lifestyle. So once we determine your lifestyle, when you reach out to us, the rest falls into place. Uh, if you like that urban lifestyle, this is definitely one spot you gotta consider. Not the only, but definitely one. Vice versa, if you're a family with kids that do not like the urban lifestyle, maybe you want more space, a lot of parks, suburb feel, then definitely Brickle is not for you, but there's many options in Miami. So that's the number one determining factor of in choosing your neighborhood is finding out your lifestyle. So let's keep going. I'm gonna walk down this um, walkway so you can get the views from there. And then we'll go continue walking all the way to the south part of Brickle so you can see how much more space there is and the condominiums, not only inside the condominiums, but around it and inside the facilities, there's more space, there's more pools. It's more like the, the older school type uh, construction, though like a, probably like an 80s where there's tennis courts, racquetball courts. Um, some have been remodeled, others are still a little outdated, but um, let's go check it out anyways. All right, so if you're a family uh, and you like that urban lifestyle, you like to live in a condo, you like the condo living, the walkability, uh, there's still great schools here in Brigo, a lot of charter schools to choose from. Um, and then if you want to send your kids to school in Brickle, you got Coconut Grove, which has amazing schools really close by. Edo Road, Shenandoah, you got Coral Gables. Um, so you're not far from a lot of great schools. So if that's what you're thinking about and worried about, don't worry, because there's many options for your kids to go to school, whether it be elementary, middle school, or high school. All these buildings have like play areas, especially on this side play areas the pools are very kid friendly um, because they know a lot of families move to this part of Brickle the other one again you're gonna have a party atmosphere in the pool not saying you can live on the west side of Brickle but you're gonna have a lot more noise than on this side maybe it's the water I don't know what it is but it's a soothing calming effect a more laid-back neighborhood condos as you can see they're a little more outdated they're not modern like the ones we were by Miami Avenue but they're very nice and they're very spacious so if you're looking for space um, and actually they're less expensive obviously because they're not as new and modern and updated as the rest of them so as you see people walk and jog and take their stroller all around this area and especially in this weather I mentioned earlier it is not hot at all it is like 67 degrees, which is perfect. And we're in uh, the end of October. Usually don't get cold weather this time of year, but we got a cold front coming in. We still got two weeks left of hurricane season. So cross our fingers. And again, anytime you live close to the water in Miami, you're gonna have to worry about flooding. But since all these are condos, high rises, you don't have to worry about that, but you are close to the water. Uh, the new ones have hurricane impact windows and they're made to hold uh, strong winds. These old ones, depending on each condo, some windows are not hurricane impact windows, uh, some are. 
So things to consider when living by the waters. Especially like on the east side of Miami, you're gonna have to, to, to get flood insurance. Uh, we're still walking by the same walkway. As you can see, it's a, it's a pretty long walkway to enjoy a nice stroll. And the cars here are not zooming by, so it's a little safer, quieter. You can see there's still condos. Every inch is taken up by condos uh, on this side. It's more residential. We already left the financial district where all the office buildings are. And now this road right here is going, going to go ahead and bend and go straight out and connect with Brickell Avenue. And then from there, we're going to go ahead and make a left and follow Brickell Avenue down south so you can see the, um, the older, bigger style condominiums of the south part of Brickell. So let's go. I can help myself, I wonder if you still feel the way I feel. I was walking by and I saw something move and I think I saw a dolphin. It could be a manatee, I don't know, but let's see if the, the head pop up again because I saw two heads pop up. Uh, you will find dolphins. I know Miami Dolphins is as our logo. It's not for anything. We do have dolphins on here, especially by Fish Ride in the beach area, all this area by Key Biscayne. If you go out boating, which is very popular here in Miami, if you love boating, this is fantastic. Especially living in Brickell, you have marinas and you're close to all these marinas, but you'll find dolphins in, in this part of the bay. Oh, there it is. It's actually a manatee. I don't know if you saw it, but I'm gonna go ahead and, and try to get closer so you can see it. Are you see me with you? Okay, there's two manatees right there. They came up. I can actually see them through the water. Let's see if they pop up again so you can see them and we'll continue moving again. We made that bend, like I mentioned, and we are getting to Brickle Avenue, which is right there in the corner. There's a cool cafe, very delicious cafe called Rosetta. If you like to have your morning coffee and croissants, donuts, fresh bakeries every day. They even have like slices of pizza. I think it's Argentinian. Uh, very nice, very delicious. Right in the corner of Brickle and 15th Street. So we're gonna walk right by it. Behind me you have St. Jude Church and then you have Rosetta. Actually it's Italian, I'm sorry. It's Rosetta Italian Cafe. Delicious cafe uh, right here on the bottom of this building on the corner of Brickle and 15. And over here you have St. Jude Catholic Church behind me, small church. Over there, that's Brickle, that's where we came from. We were there earlier, that's the north side of Brickle. So if you head that way by Coral Way, you make a left and you go down Miami Avenue. That's the heart of, uh, of that, the happening area. We saw tons of restaurants, bars, cafes, mom and pop shops, all along that area. But now we're gonna go ahead and go south on Brickle. It's gonna bend, it's pretty long, and it's gonna meet all the way to the causeway of the entrance of Key Biscayne, and we'll end it up there. Finally crossed the road, it was pretty busy there. I don't wanna get run over. Right next to me here, you got St. Jude Catholic Church. So if you're worried about being close to a church and you're Catholic, you got one right here. Very good one, right on Brickle. So all along here, you start seeing already all these, that one's under construction up there but all these are gonna be larger condominiums. And I'm talking about like the whole, like the community of it uh, more spread out because now they built them in less square footage. So they got to make magic and make sure they get the most out of their real estate, which is understandable. And uh, they build them straight up, pools on the top floor. Here, most of them are gonna have your pool on the bottom floor, and, but you are by the water. So you have a different feel to it. Some of them have marinas. I hope you can hear me because it's pretty busy here on Brickle Avenue. And most of them have uh, marinas in the back so you can have your own boat slip if you're thinking about having a boat in Brickle. This is definitely a good spot because you can get your own uh, boat slip. Across you have loft style condominiums, a garden style condos, very nice. So if you don't like the high rise, you got some condos that are easier access to go in and out of. Some have little pools, others don't, but they are more in boutique in condominiums and then down miami avenue where we were before that busy area if you pass coral way you continue it all the way down south it turns into a residential a single family home neighborhood which is i think the only homes single family homes in all of brickle 
uh, are down that avenue. Beautiful, nice, large homes all the way to, uh, to US 1. So let's continue walking and uh, check out all these condominiums. You're like a circle that floats around me Keeping me safe and sound And when I fall, you've tied a rope to me You're blessing me every day so now, a uh, Brickle Drive uh, heads south. We're passing by one of the uh, Santa Maria condos. Um, it's this one right here, which I just passed by earlier. This is the other entrance. As you can see, there's a lot of trees here. Because Brickle was filled with trees back in the days. But when they built all those, con all those condos and high rises, they left some, but they took a lot out. This side, you'll find a lot more nature, a lot spread out wider sideways sidewalks i mean wider sidewalks so i'm gonna turn the camera on so you can see these beautiful gorgeous trees with an illusion like a sparrow with broken they're huge they cover the road um as you can see look the water's right there so it's a different feel on this side of brickle so this side you'll find a lot of families as well and brickle's also a great place to invest and buy condos rent them out because the, the rental market is very big down here in Brickle. A lot of people move down, they rent first, um, or they're here for a little bit and they, they go back. But it's definitely a great investment to buy a condo in a good building. You'll rent it out fast, get good money, and there'll always be demand for a condo in the heart of um, Brickle. All right, this is a popular one called Brickle Place. I remember when I was a kid, I came here with my cousin's family members. I had a condo here, and I remember those tennis courts back in the 80s and boat slips. So it's pretty much still the same. They haven't remodeled this, so that's one thing. Maybe somebody will get it and, and uh, remodel it, but there's like four towers spread out. But it's still around. It's still very popular, and people will rent here. You can also buy a condo here as well. But as you can see, the landscaping is still pristine. They maintain it um, because living down here in Miami, we always have sunshine. So luckily, the trees love the sunshine and the grass and all that rain. So if we don't cut the trees and the grass, it's going to go ahead and grow wild. If you like that, Coconut Grove is a good spot. Coconut Grove has a lot of wild nature, which is, that's the, the style that people like in, in Coconut Grove. All right, so all this is Brickle Place. It's pretty big, so there's different areas. And I think there's a modern one coming up on the left. So let's continue walking because I have definitely gotten my exercise today. I don't know how many miles, but I'll check my watch, my smartwatch later. And uh, so it's been all in all pretty good. Hope you're enjoying it. All right, this is the one next to Brickle, uh, Brickle Place. Um, don't remember the name of it. There's the address, 1915 Brickle. You can see uh, over there, that one's pretty cool. It has like stairs in the, in the middle of it. Looks like a cruise ship, um, but they're, they're all different architectural style. Actually, this is the end of Brickle Place, and that's another one next door, so let's continue moving. But now I shine with your reflection on me. I'm getting back up on my feet. This is called Bristol Tower, right on Brickle Ave. You see there's a lot of trees surrounding it, but it's pretty modern. It has uh, wraparound balconies if you like that. Either a view of downtown Brickle area or a, a view of uh, Key Biscayne and the water and the bridge. Gorgeous. I know I mentioned Brickle is very walkable and you got the Metro Mover, but even if you don't want to drive and you want to leave, um, besides taking a bus, you can take the Metro Rail all the way to the Dayland area or the north side to the airport, so you have a lot of access. That's the, the condo I was just mentioning right there. Let's turn it around. You showed up, was written in the palm. You are a statement, textbook like a right, If you like biking, I know Brickle's pretty congested. You can bike around, but there's just a lot of people walking around. Just like Manhattan, there's just a lot of cars and things in the way, so you gotta really pay attention. You can enjoy your bike ride. But here on this side, it opens up. Look at the sidewalk, how wide it is. People go walk, ride bike, scooter, all the way into Key Biscayne. And then the fun begins because that bridge is very popular. 
if like bike riding, running, jogging, uh, always busy with people doing exercise into keep it skin and out. And then starting in Coconut Grove, there's bike paths that go all the way through the Grove, down Main Street, down Old Cutler, a very scenic bike rides. I know one of my videos, pros and cons, mentioned bike lanes was a con, but depending on where you live on that part is very nice, but overall in Miami, you gotta be careful with riding your bicycle along the street. But uh, this side is uh, pretty safe. Okay, I was talking about biking. Uh, here you have some stations, uh, city bike stations, where you can rent, you can just pull your car, take one of these bikes and drop it off at any other location uh, along the city. And so you don't have to worry about having your own bicycle. You could just take one from here and Brickle. I don't know if we saw some walking around, but they're all over Brickle in the downtown area. And so you can pick one up here, ride bicycle and drop it off at a different location. Finally made it all the way to the end of Brickle Avenue to the entrance of Key Biscayne. This is the last condo on the corner. Behind me is the intersection where uh, you make a left, you get onto the bridge going to Key Biscayne. Uh, and if you veer right, it continues and turns into US-1, which goes all the way down through all the neighborhoods, Coconut Grove, Coral Gables, Kendall, Pine Crest, Palmetto Bay, all the way down to the Florida Keys. So you can take that highway all the way down. So we're gonna go ahead and walk all the way to the end so you can see the entrance to the bridge. It's a toll bridge. There used to be people working it, but now it's just electronic. You get a sun pass and they'll just automatically charge it to your account. You have the Miami Seaquarium statue entrance that's been there forever, I remember since I was a little kid. So let's go ahead and turn the camera around so you can see what I'm seeing. This is uh, once you get off the causeway, you can take, get off here and connect to US-1. Down that way is Miami Avenue. The, uh, the next neighborhood is Coconut Grove. So right in, right in there on the other side is Coconut Grove. US-1 will take you all the way down main, the, the main highway that goes through the neighborhood. So welcome to Key Biscayne. This is the entrance. Let's take a peek. You got me loose and set me free. Alright guys, we made it. We started at the northeast part of Brickell and now we are at the south part of Brickell. I'm actually at the causeway. It connects all the way to Kibbe Skane. Behind me you have Brickell. We just left Brickell, so there you go. We saw the north part, now you're seeing the south part. I hope you got a good feel of what Brickell is all about. Try to take you to as many spots as possible so you can get a good feel of what it's like living there. It's a great neighborhood. Uh, definitely for residential to live, work, eat, and play all in the same area. The most walkable neighborhood in all of Miami. So when you reach out to us, let us know your lifestyle because that's the number one determining factor on choosing the perfect neighborhood. But the only way we can help you out is if you reach out to us, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, DM us on social media, however you want to get a hold of us, days, nights, and weekends. We got your back. We're making that smooth move to Miami, Florida. And until next time, hasta luego. Oh, 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 oh,